Hi everyone, this is Love Crafty Girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the July monthly spread in my mini recollections planner. For this month, I chose another free printable by Pink Pixel Graphics. And for the month of July, she's changed it up a bit. So here is the printable, which I think is gorgeous, vibrant. I love the colors and I love the images. But if you look closely, there's no month on it. So you see that? No July on there. Like in June, she would give you the June month here and then the year here. So now there's no year, but um, there is no month either. But what's great about that is that she's making it more customizable. So if you wanted to use this printable for August, you can. Um, and of course, you're probably thinking, well, how am I going to put the month on there? Well, guess what? She actually gives you that too. She gives you the monthly on a different sheet. And so you can choose which month and which font you want to use. So either if you want the uh, white background or a black background. And you can use the printable anytime you want. So obviously I'm going to use this one for um, July. Now if she had an extra option one, then that would be great. That way I can use that one for August or I can use the other one for July. So that's what she's trying to do. A whole new thing where you guys can choose which monthly you want to use for whichever month you like. So that's awesome. And I'm going to try it out and I can't wait. So continue watching and see how I put this spread together. So for washi tape, I decided to go with this nice bright yellow. I was trying to figure out what other colors would look well with this printable, but I think the yellow was a nice little touch to go here at the very top. And then, um, as you know, I have to always tweak um, this printable for this planner because the days of the week do not coincide with the way um, the planner is set up. So I always cut off the days of the week and then I'll place the top part of that sticker first and then go. Uh, I'll start putting the days of the week uh, according to where the boxes to will go. And then you'll see that I have Wednesday separated from the rest of them and there'll be a little gap between them where I'll place a little piece of the blue. Um, in between to make sure they look connected and I'll do the same thing with the second page. Now that I'm done with the top part, the fun part begins, which is a decorating part. I love adding all these stickers, they're so much fun. So for the bottom part, I'm gonna go ahead and place that big sticker. These are the days of the week that are not being um, used. This is the time um, of the month that are blank, so I like that. So for the weekend, of course, I'm gonna be placing my little cutesy um, stickers that the printable brought for um, both sides. And then, of course, if I need to write something in, I will use the column area like I did in June and uh, write whatever is happening that particular day. I actually like that. I tried it out on, in June and I actually like the way that works. So I'm gonna do this again this, this month. After that, I'm gonna place all my numbers and then I'm gonna work on the column and then I'll be done. So here's the final look to put together the monthly spread. I love the way this one came out. It's so pretty. Um, the colors, the images, and of course I'm doing the same thing I did last month where I decorated only the the weekends. And then of course if I had something going on that weekend and I can't write on it, I'll use it here. I did that last month and it worked so well and I really love that method. So I'm going to be doing that almost every time with this planner. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.